Hey guys, good morning. It's Marisa. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So to start off with today, I just wanted to give you the update of um, how my three um, uh, painting slash cards I made yesterday for my family members came out. Now, two things happened. Um, that, again, if you don't like it, you're not going to like the way they came out. Me, personally, I love the way all three of them came out, regardless of, like, these things that happened. Okay, number one, and I, it was in my video yesterday, the paint continued to drip off and shift. So, this was the one, this was G. This is my stepdaughter's mom's painting, okay? See now... The painting, so I did a, um, sorry, I did a strain of pour. When you do a strain of pour, you know, you're left with this very cool um, flower-like uh, shape in the middle. But what happened was the paint shifted quite a bit and um, it got, you know, it ran off. And I probably had too much paint on the painting and it kept on shifting. However, I still really, there we go, my, finally, it's, it's focusing. Um, it, it did run off a lot, and, you know, the painting changed quite a bit. However, I really still like it. Like, if you don't like that, and you're, like, really set on um, keeping that original, like, flower shape, um, you're not going to like this. But me personally, I love the texture, I love the shapes, I love the way it came out. I love them all. Um, this is C, my stepdaughters. Okay, so the same thing happened in all of them. Okay. There's a lot, and that's the second thing I'm going to talk about. There's a lot of texture, because I mixed... Um, the Arteza pouring acrylics and I mixed the Artist Loft uh, pre-mixed. Okay. This this one and the Aunt. This was the only one that actually um, kind of retained most of the shape. Okay. Now the other thing that happened is um, when we, when I mixed the three, there's a lot of texture that came out a lot. Okay. If you could see that, let me shine the light a little bit more just for a second. I know it's kind of bright, but I want you to see. So there is a lot of texture in there. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm sure you could see that. And that happened in all three. So the two types of paint, you know, created, it looked beautiful, it was smooth. But then again, when I told you, when things dry, um, it is cold in my room. I actually, um, the, the room I paint in and stuff. Um, so I don't know if I, that had anything to do with it. Probably a little bit, but it wasn't like 30 below in here. Um, but... Um, yeah, I don't think it had so much to do with the temperature as much as just the two paints, you know. Um, I still love it because I really love this. I'm going to show you in this one. I love this. This, whatever effect cr was created, I love this. You know, so, again, if you don't like texture, I get it. Um, then please don't mix these two paints. If you don't mind texture then by all means do this. I love it. I don't care about the texture. I love it. Um, I mean, if you don't like the texture and you love the painting, you could probably resin it, maybe a couple of coats, and it'll give you that, you know, that beautiful finish that you're looking for. Me personally, I actually, I really love them. I love them all. Um, yeah, they changed, but you know what? I really, I think they will appreciate them, and I really love the way they all came out, you know, and, um, it, it, they remind me of the person, which is, like, the most, for me, the most important part, uh, 
you know, like my daughter is just like a mix of everything. Like I said, her style is very eclectic. Her mom is just like very bright and cheery personality. And her, the aunt is like softer, you know, and, and her personality is more laid back, softer speaking. Just, yeah, it just reminds me of everyone. That's what was the point to these paintings because it was for a very specific you know people that I know very well yeah so that's that so as far as my thumbnail and my um, uh, title this today I am making something for my husband so I will be back in a second I want to clear these guys off for a minute and um yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing because this is really special, and I will explain in a sec, okay? I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. So, I'm giving you a quick aerial view here of all the materials, all the paints I'm using today. And I just want to explain what I am doing. So, not only is it Christmas, this is a Christmas gift for my husband. But, you know, I just thought about it the other day. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's going to be 19 years since we have been together. That is crazy. And remember, I'm only 49. And some people will say, damn, you're old. But <laughs> to be with someone for 19 years of your 49 is a long time. It's a very long time. And, and unlike, you know, and like the other paintings from yesterday... But even more so, I really thought hard about our relationship and what we've been through. And as you can see, these are really happy colors, right? To me, well, these are a lot of neons, and I'll go over it in a second. I am also giving him, he has dibs on these two paintings. Um, that red one up there, that one's really cool. I love that. And he loves that one right here. He loves that one. All right, so he has dibs on those, but I didn't make it for him. I made it for myself. You know, I just made them. All right, but he has dibs on those too. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, if they're on my Etsy store, I better take it off. Um, anyway, so I really thought about like our relationship. And, you know, we, we've been through as a couple in our lives. And I have to say, every single day he makes me laugh. I'm trying not to cry right now. Every single day he makes me laugh. Um, we've been through a lot of ups and downs through the 19 years. Obviously, any couple would. A everyone does. Every human being goes through ups and downs. Um... And I have to say, through even the worst of times, we have always laughed our way through it. We have always worked everything out. And I have to say, even through what most people consider a really difficult time, things that they would never have gone through themselves, like how did you get through that, blah, blah, blah. I actually have incredibly fond memories from the worst, what, would, what I would consider to be a bad time, which most people would probably not even be able to get through. I'll be honest with you. Um, we have gotten through some a lot, a lot of, you know, stuff. And, um, yeah, so I have to say I had to do neons for him. I had to because, to me, neons are like the happiest of the colors, if you want. That's how I look at it. They're happy, they're playful, and he's incredibly playful, uh, a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes because I'm much more serious than he is. Um, uh, yeah, but, you know, he always starts a joke and I always finish it, you know, so it's it, it makes me happy to do neons for him, and I added some um, red and green, uh, you know, for Christmassy stuff, okay? So, basically, I used the whole set of the Artist Loft um, neons, okay? So, in the Artist Loft neons, what do we have? We have neon yellow, 
a neon blue, neon green, neon orange, and what else? Sorry. Uh, neon pink and neon violet. So all the neons, okay, and everything is mixed with Floetrol, which is back there. Okay, and I strained it in that red strainer back there to get any lumps out. So all these colors have um, Floetrol, and they all have water. Okay, all of them. And back here we have the two color shift paints. I'm actually running out of these two. Uh, this is the red flash, and this is it's called dragon flash, right? Green flash, dragon flash. All right, so all the paints have the flow troll, and they all have water in each cup. And I was thinking about doing another uh, waterfall. I really have a lot of fun with a waterfall. I, I should. I was like. I was about to say I should have done a kiss pour, which would make sense, right? You know, for my husband, an anniversary. It's Christmas, but I don't know. I just want to do a. Uh, he would say, "Of course, you're going to do what you want to do anyway," right? Um, a waterfall pour. I don't know. I just find them to be so much fun. And I look at him as being a very fun person. And yeah, laughter is incredibly important in a relationship. It could definitely get you through um, the worst of your times, the most difficult. But yeah, so these are the colors today. Yay, we're flying through the colors today. Okay. And yeah, at first, I want to say that um, the flow troll seemed to have changed the color a little bit at first, but um, it seems to be good now. It looked like it made it a little lighter. Um, and I did hear something about they changed the formula of the flow troll, and now people's paintings are getting just like ruined with it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's some kind of rumor or what. I hope not because I just got a new bottle um, the other day delivered to me. So I don't know about that. But anyway, I guess we'll find out when I open up my new bottle. And I will update you on that as well if my paintings are getting ruined from it. Okay? And then I guess we'll have to find something else to use. But anyway, so this is what I'm doing today. I'm doing a waterfall uh, pour. And I'm using neons and some color shift paints. All right, so I will be back in a second with the pour. See you in a sec.
guys, I'm back. So, I really like it. So this painting goes out to my wonderful husband. We're going to call him Kay, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. And the paint is actually still in the process of reacting, which is very cool. Um, I didn't really give it much time this time. Usually I wait like 5-10 minutes before I get back on here and, you know, I talk about it. Um, but yeah, this is actually, my camera is acting real wonky today, so I do apologize. I'm trying to get the sucker to focus. Um, obviously, I need a better camera, but, you know. This is what I have for now, making the best out of it, right? So, I really love this. Um, the uh, color shift paints, I think, made the neons a little bit uh, more muted. But this came out really cool. I hope you could see, like, just the delicate changes in here. All the different... Um, cells, all the different colors. I think I did better this time with the waterfall because I didn't, I made sure I had poured enough paint in the cup, um, just in case, because you don't want to have to go back and pour everything, that's a pain, um, like remix paint. So I made sure I had more than enough paint, but I, um, I stopped pouring at some point. Um, when I knew I had enough paint, so I didn't lose anything that was cool, you know? So I think this came out really awesome. Um, he watches my videos, he comments, so when he see when this goes up, um, I'm sure he will appreciate it. And yeah, I really like the way this came out. I am very, very happy with it. And hopefully it'll dry okay. <laughs> but, um, anyway... This is all for today, guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you the next time. Bye.